when you are um, a, a kind of culture analyst, a preeminent culture analyst, and 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 Kamala Harris to a lot of people is not resonating with the culture. When I say the culture, I mean either black culture, pop culture, youth culture. There's a lot of people who say she's not clicking. You talked about the catchphrases. You talked about I mean Obama. I watched Obama in Detroit two days ago, spitting Eminem lyrics and moving the crowd like 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 you know what I mean, like a American revival or something. You know what I mean, like Billy Graham and. Kamala Harris doesn't seem to do that as effortlessly. Um, she, there's a lot of people who don't read her uh, as generously as they read uh, Barack Obama. I think some of that is just sexism and patriarchy, racism, all that stuff. But some of it is about her choices. How, how, how do you see her not connecting in the same way that a lot of us do? You know, it's hard for me to gauge that. I actually know her for 20 years. I, I knew her when she was a DA in San Francisco. We had lunch and dinner several times. So I've seen the charisma, the, the the fun of just sitting and arguing with her and connecting with her. I mean, she is a lawyer in her spirit. So, you know, when you're having like a fun conversation, she is like a fun uh, woman to like conversate with. But when you get into an argument about some idea, <laughs> it's yeah. really fun to like go back and forth with her and really like, you know, try out ideas and like, you know, she's a great fun arguer, right? And like an affair arguer, but a fun person. So, I mean, I'm looking at it. I mean, like, you know, look, when they talk about her best friend who introduced Doug, like that's a friend of mine, right? So I'm like, I can't believe my girl who I've known for 20 years is that close to being in the White House. Like, this is unbelievable. I, I, I think that- Does what you see from her resonate on TV? Because people say the same thing about Hillary Clinton. She's amazing. She's wonderful. She's funny. She's charming. But on TV, we didn't get that Hillary, except maybe at moments in New Hampshire. Do you, do you, are you seeing a, a, a distance between who you know her to be and what you see on TV? I mean, sometimes I see the Kamala I know. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I was a little stiff. I mean, I think that she is... Uh, uh, I think part of the problem is is the tiny campaign, right? She's This is the shortest campaign we've ever had Europeans are like this is how long it's supposed to be but Americans are used to like a year long campaign right and i think that having like seeing her for a longer period of time and i know she's vice president but most americans do not pay attention to politics all the time a right. lot of americans would would could not have uh, identified her voice prior to her becoming the nominee right so a lot of people don't don't plug in I, I think that there is not as much engagement with her by people who are not hardcore politics people. Most of the people had already decided who they're going to vote for before, like, like when she got in the race, right? Before she got in the race, most of us were baked in. After she got in the race, a lot of us were baked in. Uh, you know, she got some new registrations and her polling went nuts. I think it's come back down to earth a little bit, but... You know, I think this is an extraordinary person, great character, great judgment, serious level of experience. We could barely do better than this individual as our president. And the other side is perhaps the worst choice in America for mm -hmm. who to be president. So we're really, it, it, the choice could not be more stark.